Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 9. In the last episode, we actually messed around with meat, or liquid meat, um, and we set up a five times ore processing system over here with three machines. We have the washing factory, which washes up your ore with liquid meat. This guy, which ferments the meat and you get a little bit more bang for your buck. You can actually five times your stuff with some ether gas. And then this guy here uses some sand to turn it back into dust. Pretty cool. 10 raw ore go in. 50 raw ore come out. Not too bad. Not too slow either. It looks pretty good. Um, but as per usual, you know, there's uh, there's other options. Now, in the past, I believe in all the mods 6. I'm not sure if we did it in 7. Um, one of the... Uh, no, it would have been 7. Because I think in 6 we just had like... um, What do you call them? Those environmental tech uh, void miners. And they were crazy. In all the mods 7, we did occultism... Or crushes. That's what we did. And they got us, I believe, just based on the comments, it was six times ore processing. They were pretty good. I've I've intentionally avoided them this time because I used them last time, you know what I mean? So instead we set up this big mechanism area, which I guess is what, like tripling our ore? <laughs> which now that like we look at it all, it just seems so pointless. I, I feel like the time spent doing this, like this isn't even as fast as like it needs to be, right? We've got this massive setup here and with it all said and done, I feel like the time spent, I should have just set up like three quarries, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then use that as my tripling of ores um, and then just, you know, smelt them in an unobtainium furnace. So th that's kind of where I'm at. Now, before we jump into occultism <laughs> and do that, uh, uh, there's a few things I want to mention. One is, we could just do that. We could just set up some more mines. Honestly, at this point, we could just do bees. I'm sure bees will get us plenty of iron. And, and I won't even feel guilty about doing it because we didn't do it last time. But what I will say, but once again, before we jump into this episode, um, in terms of occultism, there is apparently... Well, actually, I don't even think it's with occultism. I think with airs, the containment jars, these guys here... Apparently, you can put the ore crushers from occultism into these guys, and then you can pipe in the ores. And that, that look, that sounds really cool, um, because I've I've never done that before. We, we just had to make a bunch of little stalls for the guys. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, before we get started, though, I want to try out something with um, Fortune. Now, I'll have to load up the comments, as per usual, to give credit where credit is due, but I mean, this has been a frequent comment past, present, and future, I'm sure it will be, um, to just set up a smarter system. Here we go. Um, yeah, so I Be Doomed suggested that we get Fortune 18 and um, and just set up like some, I think they said use create, but we, we can try modular routers perhaps um, to just duplicate ores that way. And that sounds awesome. So I'm going to push Fortune with, I'm pretty sure in the past we, we, well, I thought we tried to push this further. Maybe we just didn't have enough fortune to do it. But I don't know if it will go that high without some shenanigans. And uh, I'll be honest, I don't know which shenanigans are available to me in this pack. I'm sure there's like some Batania shenanigans that we can do um, in terms of... Uh, what do you call it? Yes, that is that is an upgrade. In terms of combining books and enchantments and whatnot. Um, but beyond that, it looks like we're going to run out of... Um, Enchantment points, <laughs> not enchantment points, knowledge, you know, uh, existence of books. Um, but as you can see, this will not go a higher level, at least in my trusty steed of an anvil, it won't go any higher. Now, we have an enchantment um, applicator. Now, in the past, what this would allow me to do is I could put a tool. Um, do we have, what else do we have here? Before, before I jump into this, we do have an enchantment extractor, so that should be fine. He doesn't have books. Because we don't have paper, because we don't have paper in here, because we were using sugarcane once upon a time. That is a okay. We'll add paper there, and I'm also just going to add a stack upgrade because I think that will solve that problem as well. You ready? Bam! Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So books are back on the menu. We can take enchantments off. I I, I won't feel guilty about putting them on this. So, um, how do we even want to do this? Um, I mean. I can chuck it on our steel paxel. Or at, sure, why not? So I'm going to put fortune... Um, what's this? Six, seven, eight onto this. Cool. There it is. No, it went down to fortune three. So 
<laughs> this guy's limited to Fortune 3. That's a problem. Or at least it appears as though he is. Um, and so, yeah. I, I don't really have any other options that I know of. We can search Anvil and see if there's an alternative Anvil. There's the Fusion Anvil. I don't think that works that way. Oh, one second. Okay, okay. Um, I'm back. It's been a little while, so I'm a little bit out of the loop. <laughs> but long story short, um, these anvils aren't going to do anything different, I don't think. Maybe the arcane anvil can. I, once again, who knows? Railcraft has their own as well. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Which means we can go for the Fortune 8. We can chuck that onto a pickaxe and see how it goes. Um, I'm going to go for probably just an old Modium one since we can auto craft it. And more importantly, it's indestructible. So we don't have to worry about, you know, putting an eternal stellar on it or anything. So fortune. Um, I mean, that's, that, that's already pretty good. I'm, I'm just trying to debate whether like, do we want it to auto smelt? Cause then that's, that's like the entire factory <laughs> in a single, whatever we use to, to farm here. Um, the downside with the auto smelt is that we don't get to also run that ore through a duplicator. You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll leave it how it is at the moment and we'll set something up and we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it looks. Now we do have a crushing wheel over here. I don't think just from memory, I don't think crushing wheels actually really give you any value. Um, or if so, not much, I'll, I'll double check. Um, one goes in a crushed raw iron comes out and then if you wash that, you get nine. There's no duplicating there. Um, yeah, so cool. If we put a full block in, um, you get nine out. Once again, there's no duplicating happening. I think if you had an iron ore, possibly a different story. Yeah, so an iron ore can possibly give you three. Well, it will guarantee... Huh? I don't know. Huh. I'm not sure. Oh, I think that's depending on like what one you put in. So if you put, I think this is saying it accepts any, but realistically, this is like if you put a cobbled in. So if you put a, like a, a deep slate, sorry, a deep slate iron, you have the chance to get this stuff. If you put a Mars one in, you have a chance to get, that makes sense. Um, so if you put like a skulked one in, you'd get three guaranteed. Does that make sense? Same with gloomstone. I think that makes sense. That adds up. Um, whatever, whatever. Um, regardless, we're going to... I mean, I kind of want access to the network. Maybe we'll steal that network here. Um, yeah, let's let's build it here. <laughs> we'll build something here and see see what happens. So modular routers exist. Awesome. We want to make a break module, which is this here. Oh, yeah. And then does it let me do this? No. So I, I'm a little bit silly because <laughs> I guess I needed to do like a normal pickaxe. Pickaxe. Um, so I've got all of these ones. Oh yeah. Oh, there's, a, there's actually so much more that I just remembered that we can do. So let's look through here and see what we have in terms of fortune. Maybe we've got a decent one. Um, fortune four, not bad. <laughs> um, fortune five, love to see it. That one has auto smelts as well. We might, you know, we'll, we'll think about it on that one. We'll, <laughs> we'll consider that one. Um, let's continue through here. Fortune four auto smelts. Um, unbreaking yeah i wonder if you can get lucky you know what i mean like loot some crazy stuff boon of the earth i'm interested in that one as well because from memory um i think that might give you stuff from just mining stone and that that sounds pretty cool so i'll, I'll be interested to see if we can try to automate that see what it does um efficiency nothing there nothing there and then and then we get into like this aspect so like th these are pretty cool sure but then there's these ones right these ones have so much more going on. <laughs> this one's fine. It's got like luck, which I guess is pretty good. Um, if we continue along here, what does this one do? This one has luck as well. Um, there's haste. That doesn't matter. Um, what else do we have? Speed. It mines a bigger area. So like th this pickaxe, for example, right? It's another netherite pickaxe. If I'm not mistaken, we can still enchant this. I, I don't well, I'm pretty sure we can. We can still enchant this and it will mine a three by two area. So I could have my block places place in a three by two and assuming that, the, I, you know, I don't actually know if, I, I don't know if at the very least the, um, I can't even think of the word, the modular router module 
will carry this stuff on. I don't think it will. I think it will probably just grab the enchants. Um, but if I were to use a deployer or something from Create or, or uh, Player Simulator, then I think that would work. It would actually mine the 3x2, which sounds incredible. Um, so we might bring that as well. M maybe. We might use it. Um, speed, blah, blah. A little bit of fortune, some luck. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> um, let's let's chuck this into the module. Let's, let's, let's do it. So as you can see, oh, actually we can do a test because it shows us. So if I put this in here, um, yeah, it doesn't show the rest of the traits. So I imagine they, they don't actually come with. So currently this thing will have auto smelt. I don't think any of those other ones matter except for fortune. It doesn't specify the value of fortune. Yeah, it doesn't specify the value of fortune. <laughs> um, I think we're better off just grabbing a fresh diamond pickaxe. And just chucking those two things on it, like the auto smelt and the um and the fortune. Like if we really if we care enough to do that. Let's um enchantment extract of this guy. Hopefully that got us the good stuff. It might not have, who knows? Chuck this in, fortune. Beautiful. Um and, uh, you know, we'll grab an auto smelt out. We won't put it on just yet, but it'll be there. It'll be there for when we do. Cool. Alright, so that's the fortune we want. We'll chuck that in. Boom, fortune, diamond pickaxe. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think I think that should be pretty good to go. I don't really remember where we were. I'm thinking it was about here. So modular router. This guy here, we're going to say at the front. Um, you're going to... You're going to match by block. I mean, it won't matter. I just want you to mine anything that goes in. We're going to go speed upgrades. Boom. Chuck them in. Cool. So he's, he's already doing it. You just can't tell. We go in here. Um, we would have to change our quarries as well to not mine the ores and actually just like silk touch, which we can do, you know. But if I place this, so just for, for context, here is what my inventory looks like. I'm going to place that. And he picks up five. So we got five out of that. He got nine out of that. Like that's that's pretty good, I think. We got six. I, I, I want to get a bit, of an, a, a, a bit of an average here to see like what we're looking at per per thing. Because nine's a lot, but if we're getting two majority of the time, you know what I mean? Then that's sort of what we need to compare. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because like once again, it, oh, wow. Not much out of that one. Yeah, like we, we need to compare it to if we do, you know, if our five times factory. If that's just better. Um, especially for the effort put in, even though this is very low effort, but all right. So there we go. Um, so on average, it looks like about five. We're going to get five. So this is a five times, but here's the important part. It's a five times for the ore, right? Like the actual ore block. So if we add that onto say this system here, then that's a five times five again. So that's a 25 times ore processing, right? Because one raw, one ore turns into five raw ore, and then five raw ore turns into times five that, so it'll turn into 25 um, dust or ingots. Cool. I'm happy with that. Um, the next thing I want to try is that boon of the earth. Um, so if we do hashtag boon, <laughs> here we go. We've got this stuff here. Ores may be found when mining stone, and this goes up to tier five. So let's, let's, we'll have a quick little look. We'll see what's, uh, what the dealio is there. Um, we'll go ahead and grab a oh, little bit of a refined storage lag, I've noticed, but should be fine. Let's get 10 of these. Boom. Okay, so, Boon of the Earth. We do have, we have two. <laughs> we have Boon of the Earth too. I think I'm going to strip enchants off of all of this stuff. I'm going to put this guy away. We'll probably end up doing him. And all of these boons of this earth... <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm going to strip them. We're going to get all the stuff off them. You're not going to be able to take that out. The, uh, the curse stuff won't come off. So there's no point, um, I guess waiting for it to, but the rest of the stuff does, as you can see, which is pretty cool. Life mending. Yeah. We'll curse. Oh, there we go. And this guy as well. This is very nice. This is, <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm feeling very hopeful. Um, life mending. Cool. And then that goes empty. Awesome. So you can go back. There's ways to remove curses. You can do them with, um, or whatever it is. 
Um, you can do it with Evil Craft. There's even an Evil Craft pickaxe that comes with Fortune 5 out the gate. Um, and we automated that in the past as well. But fun stuff, fun stuff. Um, okay, cool. So now we should have a lot more boon. <laughs> a lot more boon of the earth. Um, I'm getting a bit of an accent as I talk about the boon of the earth. Um, boon of the earth 3. <laughs> we can chuck that in there. Um, and can we get... We can get a boon of the earth 4. But we're all booned out. This is the... That's the final tier that we can get to. Uh, I mean, we can go higher if if we had the stuff, but we, we just don't have the stuff, sadly. Cool. So, boon of the earth. Awesome. Um, and fortune this. I'm going to put both of them on it. So, we're going to chuck this pickaxe in. Because realistically, like the smelting side of it, I can do that really easily. That's not a problem. I don't, I don't mind having to automate that. Um, boon of the earth. Four. And fortune eight. That's pretty good. If I chuck that on this module, both come along. I'm not sure, to be honest, if it's using the entirety of the fortune, if that makes sense. Um, I don't even know if we have enough to, if I were to, for example, want a full thing. I can. Okay, cool. Because what, what, what I'm getting at is I might be able to test it out on this guy. Um, fortune eight. And see if like this is what I'm expecting out of that high level of fortune. Like an average of five. I, th I think it is. In saying that, I, I've now realized I just got rid of all of our iron ore. <laughs> so I should probably start the uh, the quarry back up, shouldn't I? Let's, but we'll, yeah, it's fine. Everybody uh, relax. Everything, everything's, everything's fine. This guy. This guy is on to activate. He's off at the moment. He has a clearing fortune quarry card. Um, we are going to... What are we going to do? There's, there's no way to... There's no way. I need to make a completely new quarry card. Um, shape card quarry. Shape card. Brilliant. Shape card quarry. Wonderful. And then shape card clearing silk quarry. So I need it to be a silk quarry first. Um, yep, we can do that. Silk quarry. And then a clearing silk quarry. Awesome. Now, what are we going to do? Well, I am going to grab my phone and get a picture of these dimensions because I need to write them into my other card so that we can update with the same details. So, this guy here, if I open him up, um, the dimension is going to be 509. Cool. <laughs> awesome. This one's going to be 316. This one here was 220. Perfect. Uh, the box should be solid as well. The offset is going to be 1, followed by negative 500 and... No, sorry. <laughs> negative uh, 158, and then a negative 120. And that should be it. Cool. Um, awesome. So you can go there for now. You... That looks good. Yep. Pretty much identical. Um, clearing silk quarry is in there now. So now we're going to be silk touching stuff. Which will get thrown into our system. And boom. It's on. Cool. So it's got the power. It's I think it's going through possibly all the stuff that was already empty, I'd imagine. If we go ore. Um for example, like iron ore, realistically, should be like the the top thing. So I, I think it's just trying to catch up to wherever it was. So we could probably just to sort of help it along a bit, give it a little bit of that. Um, and then maybe also just try to give it some more power. If... Hey, buddy. Any, any luck on the power? Can we do, um, um, I, I know I've got them in my grid, but this is all fine. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no, you know what? I, oh, oh God. <laughs> I, I realize it doesn't matter because it's limited by the side, um, as to how much it can, can receive, so... Doing this isn't really doing anything, but we can pretend it is. Cool. Um, let's go entangled block. The time in a bottle's probably already run out, but that's fine. We'll do that. We'll do that. We go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Plenty of power received. Um, we went over this in the last episode. Using a flux point doesn't solve this. It's a, it's a limitation of the block as opposed to 
a limitation of any of the cables or anything. Um, so feel free to look back there if you if you don't believe me. <laughs> or let me know how to make it work because, yeah. Um, cool. So that's hooked up. I mean, the, the time in the bottles ran out, but he's got plenty of power now. Um, even though he says he doesn't. And you can see the Y level is changing. And I think we're actually getting the ores now. Maybe. It's, I'll be honest, probably near impossible to tell. <laughs> Let's, um... Speed him up. <laughs> He's using so much power. Um, yeah, the problem is I've also I've got him set to go so low that he's grabbing stuff that isn't just iron. Which, like, I know I can add filters and stuff, but realistically, I do want all of that. Here we go. Okay, we are actually getting the ores. Wonderful. <laughs> Everything's fine. All is good. The world is healing. Everybody relax. Okay, so ores are back on the menu. Um... And I'm going to grab 10 and compare them with my Fortune 8 to compare them to the modular router's Fortune 8. Okay. Um, where were we? Over here. So, yeah, I'm going to do this. And I'll... Oh, they're not going to... Oh, it's going to be really hard to tell, won't it? Hmm. How do I... I need a chest. <laughs> I need a chest to put them in. Uh, unless I just remember them myself, but like realistically, so yeah, I'll, I, yeah, I'll be back. All right, this time around it was a lot more over the place. We got some nines, or a nine, a nine and eight, a seven. We got what two fives, and then the rest were like threes and twos and ones. So, if anything, whatever's in here in the small test I did was better. So I'm not too fussed about the modular uh, router being good enough. So we'll take that one out. This one will go in. Now this thing is meant to just farm stone, I believe. So if I play stone here... Huh? <laughs> Boon of the Earth for... Oh, yeah, sorry. I need to tell it which side to break. Go on the front. Boom. We get cobble. We get cobble. I mean, he's only going to get cobble if there's only room for cobble. Boon of the Earth. It's possible it just doesn't work in this modular router. Ores may be found when mining stone. Now, because he's full of cobble, do we think it would drop stuff on the ground? Um, because if so, <laughs> what are the chances? Um, I'm, I'm guessing just no, it wouldn't. So, boon of the earth, at least using a modular router, not the play, unfortunately. Um, I imagine it could work later. <laughs> Hashtag boon. What was that that showed up? Boon of the Earth 2 on this pick. Did I? I, um, I guess I guess I intentionally did it. Hold on. So, <laughs> hold on. I do want to compare it. Um, if I were to place down a stack worth, right? I can ulti mine it. And then that's a pretty good test, yeah? <laughs> if only I had a, a gadget to help me build. You know what I mean? How cool would that be? That's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so, uh, ulti mine, boom. Oh, so what do we get? So out of that full stack of cobble, obviously, or oh, stack of stone, we ate the stone part, or the cobble, and it spat out redstone ore, nether quartz ore, and uranium. That's all we got from a stack. To be fair, we got that out of a stack of just stone. But at the same time, like, uh, I don't know. That would have to be going so fast for it to be... Uh, I mean, what could we... Realistically, this is the thing that can go that fast. But he, I mean, we saw he didn't really accept it. There, there is. I'll tell. I'll. I'll do another stack because that is a very low percentage. I. I wish as well. Because I feel like he's just getting the. You know what I mean? Like he's just getting the stone. Can I? Like I don't know if he's. He'll drop it on the ground. Is there a way to make make sure he drops the stuff on the ground? Match any. Drop. Match by dropped items. Does that? No, that doesn't make him drop him. It's just is for the filtering. Okay, uh, that's for that's fortune anyway. <laughs> Did I seriously put the other one away? I swear I'm not putting them away. I swear they're being ripped, ripped from my my hands, my very hands. Ah, well, yeah. I mean, I uh, once again I'll try this stack. Just oh, for that exact reason, it works. It works. It's just such a small percentage. It's such a low chance. But it actually works. I, 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 although I saw it, I feel like I need to see it again to believe it. 
Or I guess listen, because you'll hear the bloopers I pick. Oh no, it's, it's full of cobble. That's fine. Because we can we can have stuff place really fast. Like like that's not really an issue. Two silver ore. Oh, this look. It might not be the best thing ever, but but it's it's a thing ever. Okay. We are going to get um a constructor. We're gonna get the best one available. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna run some cables over because we now have a very silly goal. Um, I might also just do this. <laughs> Is it obvious I'm getting lazy with um certain parts of this? No. Oh god. All right. So we'll take this out. Um, we'll place down a cobble. We will place our constructor and hope the grid can even support this. I imagine it can. We're then going to put in our stone. <laughs> um, and there we go. So when this breaks, it should place stone. Now, when we place in boon of that, it begins. Now, currently it's not going crazy fast. I do... Oh, well, I guess we can see here. The grid is not turning offline. So that's not the problem. The problem is just, I guess, the updating of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can put speed upgrades in here as well. Because because that's totally what it needs. One, two, three, four. Boom. Oh, it actually did change it. I'm surprised because that's already an insane upgrade. Um, Oh, we got a diamond ore? Yeah. Okay. Very interesting, isn't it? Very, very interesting. Um, yeah, what? Well, okay. Okay. So. Ah, oh, it's. Mm, uh, yeah, Yes, so this will now drop cobble, which I'm just picking up, obviously, and then it also makes this stuff. Now, the rate at which we're getting this means that this. Like, like it's not nearly as fast as I had hoped it would be, which is unfortunate. Um. I wanted it to be like, like proper, like when I was placing it myself. Um, otherwise, it's just not really viable. Arguably, same with when I place this other module in. So we we, we kind of need to fix both problems because, like, if I'm placing ore there, like I, I need him to be fast. I, we can't be having him be that slow. Um. So oh, oh, I, you guys know and I know. Sorry, sorry. I, I, that's my bad, guys. That's my bad. We're going to grab that. That's completely my bad. Let's grab the um, exporter. We probably just need normal one. And we'll just chuck a stack upgrade in there. Um, we'll grab our stone. And then we'll grab, you guessed it, a modular router. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Why, it makes perfect sense. Then we get a placer module. Order that. Brilliant. Um, this guy here is going to place in the front of a modular router. The modular router in question is the U. That goes there. Um, exporter will go here. It will get a stack upgrade and stone. In goes stone. And in goes speed upgrade. Bon appetit. Okay, cool. So, I mean, pretty good. How good is it though? So it's full of uh, cobble now. And here's the rest of the ores we're getting. Um, the rate at which we are using our stone up, let me show you. Um, nothing to write home about. Like, uh, that will take so long for that to, to run out. Um, so what do we think? <laughs> what do we think of my new, my new ore generator? Um, I'll tell you what, can we get, is there a, is there a muffler that we can do? Just a normal sound muffler? Oh, there's muffler. Uh, I mean that, what does this do though? Oh, that's really cool. I'm impressed. Good on you, modular router. Um, then we'll get an item collector and we'll get a gym chest. So, I mean, this isn't impressive, but at the same time, we can probably just leave it running. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure that won't be a problem. Um, we'll chuck that. Hmm. We'll, oh God. We'll chuck that there and we'll chuck that there. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, cool. All right, well, enjoy yourself. Uh, 
yeah, it's probably fine. We'll get rid of the stone. So that, he'll finish up pretty quick. Um, and we'll just do the actual ores. Which means this exporter probably will benefit from being... Realistically, one of these guys, right? With a massive storage on him. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go into ore. And I guess for starters, I'm just going to drag this stuff in. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be mining it faster than we're drilling it, to be honest. But I suppose we're going to find out. How much ore do we have? Okay, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Hmm. Um, maybe we just do, I mean, iron's the only thing that we really have a problem for, I guess. So, we'll wait for that to finish. So, here comes iron. It should all be going in there. We can search, um, raw iron. We, I mean, <laughs> once again, to clarify, we have a lot of iron. <laughs> it's, the, yeah, I guess it's the processing we're mainly worried about. So, what am I doing? <laughs> We're getting a lot of iron. That's a decent amount of iron. Why, why am I doing this? I guess because we wanted to. I don't need to. I, I really don't. Like, if I smelt that up, that's that's what? 1.3 mil. If, if I just smelt it, right? 1.3 mil iron. Cool. Um, If we go... It was mainly to craft um one of these fluid things. This guy only uses, or at least at the moment, he only reckons he needs 12,000 iron. Like, pff, Okay. You know what I mean? Like, sure. I, I think we just smelt the stuff. I think you guys have said that many times as well, but I, I think I'm, I might finally be on board where I'm like, yeah, you know what? We could probably just... I, I still think it's worth doing this stuff, like setting it up, because obviously some people don't have as much iron as I have. And once we smelt it all, uh, you know, we can go back to looking at something like this. But um, I think for now, I, I might agree with that. So I'm going to disconnect the crafter. And I'm going to head back to the base and set up our smelter to uh, just just smelt it all. We don't need to smelt it all constantly, but just the recipe to make iron. Um, I guess we can leave that in there as well. But I'm also going to add the ability to just smelt um, the raw iron wherever. <laughs> Whichever page that... I mean, it's genuinely faster if I just search iron. And do this one in the smelter. There you go. Wow. Oh, pattern. Cool. I'm a little bit confused by this. What are you suggesting? Yeah, no, that's a little bit buggy. That's fine. All right. One. Ah, uh, you know what? I think it is faster if we do a stack into a stack. Cool. Uh, so we chuck that in there. <laughs> and so, um, if we go for this guy. I can order... No, I don't I don't want that. We, we probably could do that, but we want to do the fluid one. Where's that fluid storage part? Boom. Start. And this guy will just smelt the iron. And, like, it'll be... It won't take long at all. <laughs> Where is it? It's currently smelting it. It's doing about, like... Looks like almost 400 a second. <laughs> um, I am happy with those with that little area I did set up, because... I guess it is pretty good. Um, hmm. Yeah. Um, mm, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Um, one thing is copper, right? Ah, oh, we've got plenty of copper as well. Let's just add a recipe to smelt the copper. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, copper is another one of those things where I'm like, I swear I'm constantly having to manually do this. Copper dust into ingot. Let's do that. And then in one of these guys that like keeps, you know, a ridiculous amount, let's just add in copper and that should be pretty good shouldn't it okay um so, so where does that leave us are we <laughs> have we done it obviously these ones are all gonna have different ids so once again we can probably automate that using um an rf tools crafter or or i don't know <laughs> or we just manually put one in every time i guess um what what was that that we just did the fluid this guy so i need a about 17 more. And it says we can. And it says it's only going to use 200,000. And it's just going to smelt the stuff. So it's going to be... It should be really fast. In fact, a lot of it's going to be smelting. So if we do that, and we look in here. How are we looking? Like, it's a netherite crafter. Apparently, we can put speed upgrades in there. 
Um, there is some downtime, as you can see. There's also downtime on this guy. So I'll tell you what, we'll grab, we'll grab a couple more as well. So if we chuck these in, oh, let me move that. Eh, maybe it's faster. If we chuck these in here, yes, it's faster. Now the limit is the extract. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to go around behind and we're going to try something else. I was going to break the extractor, but I think that's how the power is getting to this guy. I don't really know if... Do we have any other... Because I'd love to do that, for whatever reason. Ah, uh, we've got that guy connected. And then I could connect it here as well. So that's connected, which means I can break this and everything else is still connected. Awesome. Now, if I grab a dimensional chest and chuck that here... And set this guy to... Oh, he's already on auto output. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's not going to... That's not going to slide, pal. Um, what we'll do instead, though, is we'll try a few different things. <laughs> Let's try a pipe with an ultimate upgrade. And we'll see how fast that is. Because there's not that much to, to take out, surely. Um, so we place this guy here. Place this guy here. Go configurator, boom, and chuck this in. Do that. Huh? Okay. I guess I grabbed two. Um, this guy's doing the first two really fast, but that's kind of it, I guess. Is that faster than that other one was though? I'm not sure. What what's the what's the other option? <laughs> the other option is I entangle it. Um not a bad option. The other other option. So this does what? This does 64 items every tick. Cool. I could get an inf infinite one, but it would cost my star. Uh, in the grand scheme of how long this thing will take to process, what are we looking at? Like, is it fl flying through it? It is flying through it, but I don't know if it's flying through it fast enough. Um, all right. What have we got? What have we got? What's another option? There are logistical transporters. These will do... <laughs> I, I don't even know what that means. They'll do 10 items. <laughs> what does that mean, man? Do I have them in here? Mechanical, thermo... I do have a logistical transporter. Let's give it a try. I have, I have no faith in this doing anything of value, but we can set it to pull. Yeah, I mean, that's... It looks pathetic, does it not? Although it... I don't know, it kind of looks like it does a full pull, doesn't it? Because all of these flash, and like... The ingredients are changing. On these two, at least. Hmm. <laughs> it's actually hard to tell. I, I'm not actually sure. What if I set this guy to push? Does that... I, d I don't know. It must be. It must be doing all of them once. So is that faster? <laughs> Hold on. If we look in here, what are we looking at now? Nah, it's... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't feel faster. Um, okay. Well, I think that's it. I mean, honestly, that importer... Do I have it on me? No? Do I... I don't know what happened to that importer. Did, it, did they delete it? Wasn't it one of these? Or was it not? Am I crazy? I swear we have one of these on it. But we don't have one in here. So I guess we didn't. Right, guys? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we'll try one of these ones. I swear we did, but it must have been in... It must have just been a good old-fashioned guy. You know what? In hindsight, I think it was. I think I do remember. So that guy... Can get the speed upgrades. I mean, even this doesn't feel faster than the pipes, right? Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to watch. If I hold shift, does it stop moving? No. No, the few bits that I do see of it... It's going, it is going pretty fast. I, honestly, I think, we, I think we entangle it and we extract stuff that way. That makes sense in my mind. Um, so we're going to go entangled binder. We're going to grab this guy. 
I mean, we can we can do this in this <laughs> in this dimension. Why not? Uh, we'll go entangle. Surely entangling across dimensions isn't a performance problem. Surely, guys, right? Boom. Um, go back here. Boom, boom, boom. This will be more pipe upgrades, but that is fine. That's totally that's a okay. I reckon I reckon four of these will take care of it. I reckon it'll be just completely empty. So I'm gonna chuck this guy here. Um. Yep. <laughs> that's totally yeah. I definitely couldn't have made it look any better. If I place it on top, it would have looked really cool. Um, pipe upgrade, pipe upgrade, pipe upgrade, and pipe upgrade. Cool. I I think that's just it. I think we're good. I think we're gonna come back here, and it's gonna be. It's gonna be exactly as it was. Man. What's it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, because I need to set the sides to extract. Gotcha. I read you loud and clear. Read you loud and clear. Um, so this guy, we need to tell it that the left is going to be input and output. Ah, look at that. It doubles up. We can say the front is going to be output, and that looks like it's pretty much all of it, but we can also say that the out will be output as well. And as you can see, now we're going pretty fast. Um, if we consult this guy, um, it looks as though we're doing a thousand, maybe two thousand every second. I don't know, but it's going pretty quickly. Pretty, pretty quickly. I'm, I'm happy with that. That that feels good. I, I think that's the best we've gotten. <laughs> like the fact that we can see that it's empty in these spots. It looks like we can push it further, but... Um, Looks like a, what a millisecond difference. I think we're good. I think we're fine. I'm, I'm quite. <laughs> I'm satisfied with what we've done there. Um, what else? Is there anything else that we want to do here? Um, so with, with these, this is obviously making a bunch of these fluid storage disks. We should be able to make these devices, and we can chuck in advanced computers and just make one after the other. Um, there's obviously going to be some things that we. Are you kidding me? Didn't I? Nitro battery. Ha! Huh? <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Craft all of those. Do it. <laughs> Make it happen. Make it snappy. Um, cool. So that, those are empty ones it's making, but I can use this one in my recipe. Surely. We go advanced. Bomb. Huh. No, I cannot. Really? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Really? So so if I put this one in, it doesn't work. If I put this one in, it doesn't work either. What am I missing? It says I'm still missing a battery. Nitro battery. I, f I feel like I am losing my mind. Why doesn't that work? It's clearly a problem with the batteries. Do I actually need to grab them? And then place them? No. Interesting. If I put them on my hotbar, they start to fill. I don't think they needed to be filled fully, right? Or did they? Oh, they totally did, didn't they? Yeah, they totally did. Right? We go in here. It does show specifically that they are full. Wow. So we filled them all. Good on us. Look at that. We got one there. And we got one there. It says that we don't, but I mean, I've got them. I've, I've got two of them on me. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So no, that, I mean, it does not care. What, what's going on? Why? Why does it... Now it's saying we don't have any battery. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? <sighs> Whatever. So we're charging this. This feels like we can charge it faster. Um, do these guys charge in energizing orbs? Is it is that a thing? Do we know? Let's um get over here a little bit faster. I think we're probably crafting stuff here anyway. Oh, we're not. If I place that there... Is it crafting? What are we at? We're at 92 million. Okay. Boom. 
So it might have gone up a little bit for a second that it was in my inventory, but boom. 95. How fast does it charge in my inventory? It doesn't charge that fast in my inventory. It must be charging on here. I, I guess I could probably also toggle off shaders and, and see that it doesn't look like it is. Cool. Okay. Well, can't say we didn't try. Um, the infinity charger is meant to be pretty good. Do I have upgrades in it? Is that the problem? Maybe I don't have speed upgrades in this guy. No, we do. I guess he's just not that crazy. Um, so we can craft this now. No, we, we've got one. Okay. Interesting. So that one counts and these two do not. And if I put them in here, it doesn't care. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Cool. Okay. Sure. Let me chuck that in there. Because I've got them set up to automatically go in here. And then extract when they're full. <laughs> I mean, this is just... This is just... Why? <laughs> Why? Ah, it's fine. I mean, we'll get there eventually. Uh, let me know if you have any other ideas on, on how I can charge these guys faster. Um, two nitro batteries. Make sure to fill them up. Yep. Um, uh, but then what? Oh, it doesn't really help. Power is definitely thinking about. Let's get, I'm going to power. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And then that leads here to get that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really know how else to fill them. There is, you know what there is? There is modular router energy things. Um, like there's an energy upgrade. There's energy distributor modules. Oh, okay. We'll give them a try. Do these say that they're limited? They don't. Energy upgrade, of course. Well, let's uh, let's 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 have a little gander. So first things first, let's uh, get the power ready. So if we go in here, we do have an energy distributor, which is pretty cool. And go to energy upgrades. Oh god, that's gonna be rough. Um, let's just craft a stack of them. That should do the trick. Boom, cool. Boom, awesome. Chuck them in. Plenty of power. Three mil can be stored. Boom, it's getting stored. The energy distributor distributes onto blocks and you can pick them. So I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. If I chuck in, we don't even have any, um, at power. If I chuck in one of these, oh, it does fill. Oh, and then if I put speed upgrades, oh, it didn't really change much. Look at that though. Oh, very interesting. Hold on. Um, at modular. Hold on. I can spell. Uh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay. Boom. Another stack. Let's see. Let's see if we can do two stacks. Boom. No. You only put one stack in at a time. What about actual stack upgrades? Huh? Didn't think about that, did ya? Boom. It didn't really change much. Okay. Cool. Um. It's definitely not putting in as much as I want it to. It's not putting in much at all, which is unfortunate. Uh, but I'm glad we tried because that was, that was pretty cool. The other module is modular output, like modular distributor, modular output. I, I we, we can try the modular output. I don't really know what it'll do, but I think it pushes to a side. Like, like yeah, it's not, none of these are making this go any faster. Um, no energy transfer, transfer. Yeah, okay. No energy transfer, transfer from item to router, transfer from router to item. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad we tried. I, I am glad we tried. Is there anything else we can think of? Ooh, uh, yeah. I, there is one I can think of, but I don't know how it would work. <laughs> it's integrated. Um, integrated has I thought it had, yeah, it has energy interfaces, so it can gain access to the energy in something. But then I don't know how you can put that into a machine. 
which is my problem. Attaches an energy holder to the network and filters it. Imports energy into the network. Exports energy from the network. Picks up energy from the world. Um, place energy into the world. I don't know if there's a way to like, put that into a block. Uh, look, I, I don't think there is. Um, if we search charger... Um, do any of these sound specifically crazy? This charges multiple items very quickly. Or just, just quickly. Sorry. I don't want to put words in his mouth. Boom. 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 It's taking... No, it's not. It's only accepting... Okay. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go Draconic Integral Component. <laughs> Let's all, hold up. Hold on. Let's see what's happening here. We have upgrades for this mod. We might be able to push this very far. There's also energy upgrades available. I, I don't really know what they in, entail. But, um, oh, I just finished this so close, of course. Um, boom. Okay. What are we looking at? It's still only doing thousands. It's not doing, like, mils per tick. Which honestly is, I mean, like, I don't think any upgrades we put in are going to fix that. Um, at thermal. RF, tra oh, th that is massive transfer. You know, like, credit where credit is. Dude, that is massive transfer. So if I take this guy out, this guy doesn't have a higher tier, right? No, this is him. This is it done. So if I chuck that guy in here, that's just one. I don't know if we can put in two, but now if I put this guy in. Oh, yeah, now he's taking millions. This is actually pretty good. This might even be better than this. So, oh, I think that is faster. This guy can do a lot more at once though. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. And it's possible that we can put a second one of these in there. In fact, it's possible that we can put a third one in there because I don't think this guy's doing anything. Is he? Oh, maybe he was. Maybe he was six times. Yeah, he was. Okay. 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 He was doing something. That's fine. But to be fair, he was six times in it, right? Six times 26 is awesome, right? But 26 times 26 is even better. So if we can put a third one of these in there, I think that actually is... I think that will be better. Um, now, that stuff's currently crafting. That will probably take a little while, I imagine. Is it even doing any? It's pretending it is. Oh, it's because this guy's smashing out all the appetite. Um, we can probably jump over there and speed that up. I, I do, we'll, we'll probably do this as the end bit of this episode, I imagine. Let's see how this goes. How, how are you holding along? You know, you're, you're trying your best. Good on you. Um, let's, let's help you out a little bit. You're eight times as fast. You know what? You're 16 times as fast. You can do it, buddy. All right, I'm back. Um, I, I just saw a tweet where people are getting, uh, strikes on their channel for modded, Pokemon stuff, like, you know, uh, Pokemon mapping Call of Duty or something. And I was like, oh god, I've got all those Pixelmon uh, videos from back in the day, so I just went and privated. I think there was like six or six episodes or something, so sadly they're privated, <laughs> just, to, just to be on the safe side. I left up the uh, shader tutorial, because that one still gets, I don't know, it's, it's got a decent amount of views, and I don't really want to private it. If, if I guess if the channel gets one strike, it's <laughs> not the end all be all. Um, we'll cross that bridge if it ever happens. Uh, we Realistically, I imagine we're completely fine. There's probably, like, infinite content regarding that. Um, but it just seems silly to waste it on, on six-episode series if I do actually get striked or something. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. So that stuff's done. I've got my dragon steel stuff. If I right-click, you can only put... Oh, that's so sad. I can't put one in there. I will, however, try a different tier. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll, we'll, try, we'll try a different tier. Just to see, just to see, relax guys, I'm just seeing, just checking, just having a look, I'm having a geese, I'm having a gander, it's fine. Um, what I'll also do is, let's grab out all of this and, oh, and chuck them in there. Cool. Now, clearly we need a little bit more, oh, <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize how much power we put on this guy. Um, we'll probably just use a flux point then, it looks like, um... This guy's going to be drawing a little bit more than I can handle. 
Um, flux point, beautiful. Chuck him down. Select down network. Bypass the limit. Is he good? Um, power search. Priority one. No. Is it? Is this a limit on his side potentially? For example, if I take out these guys, that number doesn't go up. Yeah, that must be a limit to the actual block. Possibly even a limit of how much can go in. So um, I can actually just leave these because it really it shouldn't be making much of a difference. These guys are filling up crazy fast, considering you know there's multiple of them. Um, I think we'll we'll entangle this guy and maybe even just yeah uh, eh, yeah. Well, I mean we'll, we'll figure out something. So if I chuck this guy down, yeah okay cool. So <laughs> man, I love me a good entangled block. Um, boom, entangle. Th this is a horrible spot to place this as well. I don't know why I'm even now continuing to do it, but it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. What are we looking at? Ah, nice. We're charging. So yeah, cool. That's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's double check the thermal. Let's grab this guy and just triple check that we can't push this any further. It looks like we can't just for the sake of once again, pushing it to its limit. Do we have... Yeah, I want to try one of these guys. We need lead dust. Lead dust. Boom. Boom. Cool. <laughs> lead dust. We're, we're, we're good. Um, but one of the other machines, let me put two of these in. So I'm figuring like, hey, 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 if I can put, you know, if this will work, that, then that's pretty cool. It does go in there. It, I mean, the fact that the power doesn't change, I don't think it does anything. We can leave it in there for the thrill of it, I guess. Nah. What do you reckon? <laughs> I don't think it's doing anything. Um, cool. And if anything, I'm worried it'll bug out and only use that one. So, yeah. So these are gonna fill up, which is awesome. And then when they fill up, I just, I pretty much just need that to be here, to be honest. And I can even put another entangle block here. So let's do that. Let's make a bit of a mess. Um, this guy here was only built for that. So we'll just pick him up. So that should be fine. And we will place down this guy. Cool. These can now go away, which is fine. These can go in there, which is also fine. Boom, boom. Cool. Um, we've got this guy entangled now. We're going to slap him there. Um, we're probably going to double this up as well. So we grab another entangled block to chuck here. Awesome. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Cool. So this guy is fully charged, which is wonderful. He's got plenty of stuff and things in him. Um, and the rest should hopefully get filled in. This should still extract the stuff. I think we're good. I think we're good. If we wanted to, we could probably speed. Oh, even just the two times is like, we don't have enough power. <laughs> all right, cool. I'm happy. We, we can leave that running. I'm sure that will, I'm sure that will all work out. We can go advanced. I might have to add in the rest of those things into export. I, I don't really know how, how well it's going to work, but I'm sure we'll figure it out at power. Yeah. So if I grab this there and then chuck that, it says it's already in there. We'll double check. And I don't want it to be exact. I want it to just, I don't know if we've, pr we've probably got exact on for a reason. It probably prevents the full ones going in, but it's fine. We're going to pretend that everything's fine. I do want to wait here to see what happens once it's full. Like if it's going to just pew, like plop them out. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, sweet. Well, I, I, hey, I'm happy. Um, I don't know if we're going to, if this will be the, you know, episode is the, if that's the focus. I don't even know what else we did. We did quarry stuff. Oh yeah, we, we did the, um, <laughs> the ore processing over here. I mean, like, I think it's still working. I think it's just, we don't have any more iron ore. <laughs> or... Iron? No, no iron ore. Um, is there any other thing that we... I mean, even then, we don't even need to do that. It is it is a bit silly. Um, are there any of these that we feel like we should have a lot more of? That we're not getting a lot more of? If anything, it would be like the unobtained... Like, you know, the old modi moors, but... I mean, that doesn't really matter. That's a whole different story. Aluminum. Um, I think we could. I think we can probably, I think we're fine there. The only other thing I can think of would be coal. Um, since we do have 
like, I, I don't know. I feel like we could have more. <laughs> redstone. Um, you know what? Redstone. We don't actually have... I, I, I'd, I'm surprised we don't have more redstone. So I'll happily chuck redstone in there. How much does that actually make? You know what? I can't deal with the with the redstone. <laughs> with the experience. Eh, whatever. I, I think we're good. <laughs> I'm glad we tried it. Because, like, genuinely, if we didn't have enough raw ore, like if we weren't just doing it for the sake of doing it, this does make it so that even like our mechanism setup, this makes it so that our mechanism setup is three times or potentially five times better than it currently is. Um, the only thing is my quarry was probably already doing that. My quarry already applied fortune. I don't know what level it was applying. We could run a small quarry test on some ores, I guess, to see like the average. In theory, this should be better. It should be, it should be, it should be a bit better. Should be a tiny bit better than just fortune. Um, the only downside is I have to actually process it, but the upside is I could probably just smelt it <laughs> um, right then and there. I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty happy. Let's go check this guy. He should have fresh things in him at the moment. And he does completely. How cool is that? So that's working perfectly. Um, if we go back here and chuck this in then, we can probably make quite a few more. Yeah, so now we just need jet suits. <laughs> Because that was easy to craft. Yeah, jet suits. Love me a good jet suit. Here we go. Oh, yeah, this was the steel from that other episode. So if I just spam click this, eventually we should... I mean, that's probably plenty. That's probably so many that I've just put in the system. So we'll do that. We'll do this. We've got some Calorite tanks on the way, I'm sure. <laughs> I can probably order, like, 20 more. No, I can't. I lied. Um, really? I thought we did this whole thing. I thought, yeah, we've got large gas tanks. Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you talking about? I can't even... Can I not even access them? <laughs> I can't access them. They're... They're one with the system. Why... Why do they do this to me? Tank. Steel tank. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tank. You just need... Okay, what? Okay, yeah, you can craft one. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I gotcha. Gas tank. I got um I got it, guys. It's fine. We order 30. Everything's fine. I've I'm picking up where we left off. I I remember. Two different things. Cool. Uh, I don't really know how long they'll take to craft. Oh, it's suggesting that they're already done. What? Did the server crash? <laughs> it's not here. I definitely just ordered a bunch of stuff that is not here. Um, huh. Well, let me cancel some stuff, I guess. That stuff looks like it's crafting. But I can't craft gas tanks anymore. Why? <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Okay. Well, that's fine. It's not fine, but we'll, we'll sort it out. It's okay. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you're having fun with the, you know, attempts that we're making to do some stuff. Um, we are slowly making progress. Like, like really, I, we could probably already almost make another star. <laughs> like, we've got... Look at this. Look at this. And we've got, like, a bunch of the stuff. You know what I mean? We can make so many of them. Um, we're chipping through. We'll get there. Some of these things are going to be quite annoying, like the flesh or whatever it was, this thing. that uh, I don't know. It's going to be... I'm going to have to farm that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> um, thank you to our donators and our channel members. Thank you, all of our channel members. Um, thank you to our Tier 3 channel members, Malizzi and Final Phoenix 13. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.